Lane assist is possibly one of the most misunderstood safety functions in a modern car. People tend to assume that because there are cameras watching the white lines as I drive and computer controlled steering to keep me between those lines that the car can drive itself. That is not the case. A lane keeping steering system such as lane assist is what we call an electronic driver aid or sometimes advanced driver assistance system. The two critical words here are driver and assistance. System isn't there to take over the driving but to help with the driving workload. The camera up here at the top of the windscreen is watching those two lines for me. And if I start to drift to one line or the other, it will give the steering a nudge to push the car back towards the centre of the lane. If I keep drifting, it will start to vibrate the steering wheel as if I'm running over a rumble strip and it will sound a warning bong as well. Some people might feel that lane assist cuts in too quickly or that it feels weird to them and that's understandable. It can help by going into the car's menu system and changing the settings. You can alter it so that the lane assist kicks in earlier or later, or whether it just gives you a warning or actively turns the steering wheel. Now lane assist is clever stuff. It doesn't just watch the white lines. It can also react to things like traffic cones and to an extent it can operate on roads with no markings by watching the edge of the tarmac. Many Irish roads are still lacking good lane markings, so that is a limitation. But it's still a system that can work in adverse circumstances. However, it's not omnipotent, and we can't emphasize this enough, it's nothing like self-driving or autonomous technology. It's there to help the driver, not replace them, you still need to pay attention. It could be a tremendous lifesaver though. According to research by the EU, up to 25% of accidents can be put down to drivers being distracted or inattentive. It would be brilliant to think that other cars around you in a busy motorway had this kind of system. A first little nudge to steering might prevent a scrape or bump. But the alarm and the second intervention can stop a major accident by reminding them to pay attention. It's also important to note that lane assist isn't infallible. If there are no road markings at all or incorrect road markings, the driver can ignore it. If the weather is especially bad or the camera becomes blocked or obscured, it also might not operate properly. So as ever, the driver has to remain vigilant and in control of the car. Of course, lane assist switches off when you use your indicator, as it assumes then that you want to cross the white line. So if nothing else, it's a good reminder to use proper indication and show courtesy to other road users. That goes double if you're moving out to pass a cyclist or pedestrians. Lane assist will nudge you back towards the left if you haven't signalled. So just remember to use your indicators. Should you switch it off? No, not really. And here's why. One of the biggest causes of distraction in cars is of course a mobile phone. A study in the Netherlands showed that banning mobile phones in cars would save 600 lives per year in that country alone. I'm sure many of us have been on main roads and motorways and seen other people on their phones and seen other cars crossing white lines and even changing lanes because the driver was too busy texting. Imagine then if every car on the road had lane assist. Imagine how much safer you'd be, how much safer we'd all be. Apparently people have been going back into dealerships to talk about lane assist, asking for help in switching it off permanently. Okay, we get it, it's not perfect and Irish road conditions sometimes don't allow it to work as well as it can. But this is a major boost to on-road safety. If everyone had lane assist and used it, then our roads would be much safer.